Welcome back to One Even Buddies, the show where uh, Steven is a very talented voice actor, and they should definitely hire him for the. Uh, I'm very terrible at voice acting, and talent. I'm kind of sick. <laughs> uh, I think you meant talented. <laughs> when I see these videos, I'm probably going to die of shame. <laughs> Don't uh, worry about it. I hope no one judges me too harshly on how, how I'm doing these voices. Depends on how people tolerate uh, the Monster Prom playthroughs. Speaking of which... Most of them didn't watch them, I think. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you want to watch a complete, uncut run, uh, too bad. I took them down. Did you? Clutter. Well, no. They're unlisted now. You can view them if you have a link. Why did you take them down? Um, cleaning up. Clutter. You can still find them if you look in the playlist. Called you, bonus I hope you... If you got rid of the Monster Prom, I hope you definitely got rid of the Final Fantasy stuff. Nah, that's still up. Get rid of them. I don't like them. Well, I mean, it's, it's unlisted, which means you can still watch it if you have a link. No, no, no. Like, you can have them unlisted. I just don't want them viewable from the beginning. Hmm. Well. It also feels out of out of place since we don't really play that game. Which one? Final Fantasy VII. Yeah. It's just there. It was during the awkward years. Of the awkward years of... It was the during the very first time I showed up. And I'm not really proud of any of the stuff that happened when I showed up. South Park Chef's Love Shack is the third most viewed video. Actually, it's the third or fourth. South Park Chef's Love Shack is probably the video I'm most proud of from those from that first really? session. It, it has it's like in the top three. Videos. The reason I'm most proud of it is uh, out of that first session. Yeah. Outside of maybe the Monster Prom stuff, it's because of the fact that in general, I had a lot of fun beating your ass in that <laughs> game. <laughs> it's. I'd say the only acceptable condition to play again is if it's the Sega Dreamcast version, because it's kind of different. Mm. And maybe throw Jonathan in there if he's <laughs> if you want to kill him. But but outside of that, um, the only other game I'm okay I'm okay with existing in, from that first session is Monster Prom. Yeah. I really don't like the Final Fantasy videos, especially since I kind of like set in the stereotype of me ranting at everything. I mean. I know it's like kind of known as my personality, especially yeah. since that's when I'm most like awake sounding. But that doesn't change the fact that it's like not something I enjoy. Yeah. I mean, what did we do in 2020? We did two episodes of Persona 4. Which we should definitely take down since we're probably going to restart that. I'll probably put like a note in the description saying, uh, we're restarting, here's the new playthrough on the Xbox version. Blah, blah. blah. Um, we did Xtrom, which we never finished. Um, yeah, we probably never will. Uh, I'd get rid of it just because of how terribly I played that one. I wouldn't get rid of anything. Um, what did, did we... We did a bunch of, like, two-episode series. Uh, I can look into it right now. I remember we did a Cartoon Network racing game. We did Dragon Quest VIII for two episodes. That was... Get rid of that one, especially. No. <laughs> that one was awful. I wouldn't even... I didn't even want to play that one, if you noticed. I know. I just did, because I got tired of XCOM. No, no, like, the thing is, I was so unenthusiastic to that one, it feels wrong. Um, oh, okay, I found a playlist. We did Persona 4 Arena for two episodes, Crash Bandicoot. The Arena arena is fine. Crash Bandicoot was mostly just seeing how terrible I am with platformers. Uh, two brief episodes of Call of Duty World at War, I don't know why that... The, that's because we were just playing some random shoot... So it was a random game, like, when we needed to, and we felt like shooting each other. <laughs> And it's just like that. Well, you felt like that. Yeah. 2021 is had a lot of content I'm more proud of than, say, 2019, 20. Yeah. I mean, there's some stuff in there I'm proud of, more so in 2020 than 2019. Because that was the year we started using the capture card. So. Did we not use the capture card for 20 2019, I didn't have one, so I streamed it to a fucking iMac. It was fun. It was fun. But you, we definitely had... Uh, we definitely had better recording for uh, Monster Prom because that had OBS. Yeah, which is directly on there. And thus, I don't know. In other news... Also, and and I, thus, from those early years, Monster Prom's the one that looks best. Also, taking down older videos would kind of be an issue because I compile some of them into videos to cross from it on my main channel. You should go something to that, by the way. And, uh... Yeah, but, but like, I'm still not happy with those early videos. I mean, yeah, there's some stuff I'm definitely embarrassed of, but, like, I don't take them down. It's They're just there to, to serve as the, the awkward, uh, growing pains. 
Early installment weirdness. Shit. Like, I didn't exactly know how to exactly act on camera. Yeah, it's called growing pains. So wait till you see- you should have seen Kevin's first session. <laughs> this has been horrible. Uh, Kevin's more dead inside than I am. We spent like 20 minutes designing a Dark Souls character, if that tells Oh me. no, that, that's Kevin. That's just Kevin normally. Yeah, Jonathan was there too. Um, Is there anything to talk about in this? I think we talked about everything. Yeah. We've talked about this channel for five minutes now. I would say that's fine. Like, we've been kind of playing the game straight. Yeah. And, uh, also a fun fact, uh, I actually hired an artist for this channel. What? Yeah. Who? Don't worry about it. Is it part of the Discord? Yeah. <laughs> Who? Uh, it's a moderator. And I, um... Is it a moderator that... I have to look into this. That's Twitch. Yeah, I know. I accidentally pressed Twitch. Uh, don't worry. I commissioned one thumbnail out of them. And then... Um... Offline. Not that one. Um, it's, it starts in the. It's the one that starts with a D. Dang and Jess? Yeah, that's a joke. That nickname is a joke, though. Okay. What money did he pay her with? Uh, Nintendo eShop gift cards. I guess but it's now, than But now she asked if I can pay her an Amazon gift card instead. Why did you hire an artist? Because? What did you even use it with? Thumbnails. I need to see these because I know for a fact it's not part of the Uneven Buddies channel. Both channels. I don't think I've seen a single thumbnail that, like, was I already... haven't paid. I haven't started. We haven't started working on that, this channel yet. Um. So, like. In one. Ch Why are you going here? You probably. He, this motherfucker's not gonna say anything. That's a good point. Ugh, shit. Wait, who plays the bellboy? Ah. Uh, I closed little dots. Bellboy, you. <laughs> good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are. Ah, oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. British. Oh, right. Like it's not the media plot. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Uh, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No, hey! <laughs> Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now it's supposed to super out a bit! Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Yeah! You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, huh, right, sure. Mr. White, Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name, my sister told me. White was the name of my guy, the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? No. Mm. Uh, ow, ow. That did, not feel, that did not feel good on my gums. Well, so for some reason. What the fuck am I saying? Examining thumb? Okay. Uh, for one example, I paid a, I paid to do a thumbnail because we all, because me and three other people did like a complete super tight let's play of Super Mario 3D World on the Switch. Can I see it? Um. And, uh, this was the result. Thumbnail was kind of cropped because YouTube sizes are a bitch. Now that's my chance to see <laughs> I was Mario. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you have any examples of any, is any of the thumbnails for this one? Um, Uneven Buddies, I haven't really sketched. I haven't really commissioned anything yet because I'm broke. <laughs> Obviously. Um, well, I was broke when I... I had her drew it, but, I, but we did make an arrangement I'll pay her off when I get paid. Which I did, don't worry, I'm not a scammer. I hope so. Yeah. 
What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? So yeah, I'll probably do like stupid stuff to put in the thumbnail to say, who's playing what game? Shit. And for certain certain games... Honestly, you could probably commission an overlay just with every uneven buddy to show like which pl which player's here. Yep. Like, j just have like uh, her do some trans uh, trans uh, transparent stuff where like... That's what I was going to do. And yeah. then plop the ones onto the thumbnail if they're in. Yeah. Like, so, like most of the thumbnails, like mainly two episode, three episode, some shit, will be like my own crudely styled thumbnail depiction. To, to show that like it's your decision? Yeah. Though certain thumbnails, like primarily like Launder's running special series, like say Kingdom Hearts or maybe this. Probably have more, like, a more elaborate one. Yeah, that will have like a more elaborate one. Where it's like instead of just, sh just showing that I'm the one playing with you, it's... It's a custom like drawing. That's probably a good idea. Maybe us dressed as the characters or something. Yeah. I was thinking of doing one for... What have we done? <laughs> um... I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For my sake. What are... What are things I could use? <laughs> Metopia... Meto Me probably doesn't really need one, let's be honest. Right? Yeah. Um... I can, the, the, that one probably could easily be done with like I can make March on its own with that <laughs> with just me's yeah um Kingdom Hearts maybe I've been thinking about doing it for that like you'll just have to use Photoshop yeah I mean oh if, bellboy still there uh oh time to spray him I look forward to hang going with you tomorrow Miss May in court I will like man we could have just play continued on playing oh well I guess uh like the only thing, the only things I would put on the thumbnail is just plop the game logo and episode number on it. And uh, but uh, yeah. like that—that's like the bare minimum. But hey, it's better than nothing. That's true. Um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. I was gonna, I was gonna commission the thumbnail for that. Um, maybe, maybe this series. Ace Attorney is one we're playing for three games, so that's probably a good one. Yeah. Um, if I do Kingdom Hearts, that one would only apply to uh, Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, wait. Oh, you, no. You can... Become you can, British. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. Right now, ship's only size of weakness so today. Or it'll, hit, or it'll be on me any instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. Hmm. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor, the prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Oh no. Maybe I could do one, commission one for Sitter Truth. That one's a good one. Like, just ha just commission for you and Kevin to look like, uh... South Park. Yeah. Style. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir! Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir! Let me use the floor map of the office to explain. Hmm. The body was found by the window here. And the cause of death and the cause of death? Loss of blood of be due to being struck by blunt objects, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the thinker, found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. Court accepts the statue of his evidence. Uh, they're still calling it as a statue. No, detective. Uh, yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene. Correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I heard. I had all evidence. She did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. My face arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. 
There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maffei, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maffei. Why? We have witnesses account describing her. We would have silenced my fate at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. Cross-examining what? I couldn't see a single proposition in that testimony. <sighs> hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Heh. <laughs> I should have expected Maya to know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to be done my cross examination. Now to introduce pressing. Like on everything. Didn't I press before? Um. Oh. Everything you say. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey, pal, don't blame them. You know who. Calls from customer at the Gateway Hotel. Right across the crime scene. Hmm. Okay. I pressured. I pressed. Not sure it did much though. Right. Please continue. Just don't go over excessive. Yeah. Um. Okay. That that's probably something you should press. Hold it. Why is that? What's your reason? What? <laughs> what a witness account describing her! Hold on just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested <coughs> her because you had hard evidence she did it. Correct? Hmm? Oh? Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Well, Miss May is suspicious. Show you pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Yeah. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the, the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was clearly written in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found in the victim's finger. Okay, there was. Why does it show? Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Because the artists are lazy. I guess. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence! I put some hard evidence in your mom last night. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Before we begin cross examination, I have a question for a detective. Your Honor? Why didn't you testify about the piece of evidence the first time? Uh, I know I'm real embarrassed I forget about your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful! Very well, the defense may begin with cross-examination. Okay. <laughs> this is like the only time he gets pissed off about like the fact that he's not given proper evidence. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Memo. Labs shouts the blood was the victim. Are you sure? Well, actually, actually. there was blood found. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait, there. wait, wait. Ahem, actually. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want to clarify, to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant... Let's be honest here. This updated autopsy, some bullshit. She definitely died when she got hit immediately. <laughs> That's really what you're saying. I mean, she did murder... What? I it mean, wasn't one of those lore tricks now, is it? She did murmur her name. His name. with something. Uh, Red, white, and blue. Uh, 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 yeah. But, like, that's all she did. She didn't even attempt to run anything. She just kind of said it as she was fitting oh, out. You have the energy to write anything. Anyway. Yeah. Of course you wrote! Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. B backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. 
Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. You wanna know how I can tell this is a bullshit? Uh, because, like, the only reason it got updated was to say, Yeah, she didn't die immediately, because the only thing, like, pointing to Maya as the killer was a note written in her blood that couldn't exist if she died immediately. Hmm. She died immediately. But! No butting your way out of this one, detective. Also. Order! Order! Also. I was gonna say, like, uh, I'm surprised no one yelled at uh, Gunship for not, like, immediately g finding Phoenix to give him the updated autopsy after it was, like, made. Ah. Uh, so. Uh, Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you take the autopsy report? Well, when? The, the well, day after the murder. The day after. Because it was the morning, so technically it was a day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, your honor. Also, how the fuck did you update an autopsy in the span of a fucking day? Uh, game logic. Writing. This is this is definitely fucking Edward cheating. Yeah. Like he, he's falsing evidence here. A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Yeah, yesterday was the day it fucking happened. But, like the the day he got the autopsy report. Am I right? Yeah. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from the blunt object. But there was a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. Several means more than two. I received these results this morning. No way! Honestly, if I was Phoenix, I would have immediately started yelling at Gunshooper like, for, for not giving me the proper... Uh, n not, like, reporting to me that, like, yeah, there was an updated autopsy report. Hmm. Like, th this is a flagrant favoritism in the court. <laughs> yeah. It's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. If she had enough time to write down Maya, wouldn't she have enough time to find a piece of paper and wrote down, Maya murdered me? Alright? Yeah. Like, if she was alive for several minutes, I would have spent the last, the, the, those last two or three minutes actually making sure that the exact mo like, way that, uh, the exact person that, like, murdered me, like, was written down. Yeah. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something like up your sleeve. Especially if he has a reputation for changing shit. Yeah. Why, Mr. Wright? You look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, man. The detective's Ed. a sham. I'm a sham. No, no, say the detective. <sighs> detective <laughs> Gumshoe, you're a sham. How did you give me a faulty report? <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> I'm disappointed in you! Handing him the wrong report like that? Uh, I'm sorry, sir! Hmm. <laughs> You're at fault, Detective? This isn't going to look good on your belly! You should not have What? What the? Uh, your Honor, I submit this report to the court. <laughs> Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Updated. May have lived. Doesn't say she did live. It's a possibility. Possibility. Honestly, that's a, like how the fuck did they accept? Yeah, she could have. As a reasoning, am I right? Well, Your Honor, the evidence is strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion. Yes. Darn, this ain't good. Isn't good. The prosecution will like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw murder with her own eyes. There is nothing innocent about May April May. <laughs> exactly what part of her is innocent? <laughs> I didn't get to read what the judge said. Whoops. Oh no. Witness, your name please. April May, at your service. Jiggle Fences. I'm not gonna say wink if you winked. Order! 
An introduction to uh, should not require any reaction from the crowd. Who would have sort of refrain from wanton winking? Aw, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was like in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the fan cool offices? Mm-hmm, that's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witnesses account. It was like nine at night. I looked out at the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Oops. And then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she cut up her and, and she hit her! And the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end, that's all I saw. Every little bit's the wet thing. Ugh. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It's a remarkably solid testimony. <laughs> I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Uh, excuse me! Wait, Your <laughs> Honor! <laughs> yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness testimony was just quite firm, didn't you? <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Mia Faze's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults and perfectly good testimonies. Oh, you mean being thorough in your examination? Motherfucker, cross-examination's gone for days in real life! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Well, yes! They had to change it down for the North in a video game. Yeah, I know, but like... I know. <laughs> that, that, like, idea, like... Uh, yes! She, she, her cowardly way of finding out the truth by question, by asking questions... I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Not just like every prosecutor in history, if only blindly because... accepting whatever the person across from me is saying. If only because I, I have a feeling Edward doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you need to get your cross-examination. Uh, hmm. I'm so lucky that I don't have to say up the fucking cross-examination bullshit. Yeah. I was also thinking of commissioning a thumbnail for Danger Room Club V3, because that's going on for ten years. <laughs> Just commit. Tell them to dress up Jonathan as Kaede. It'd be funny. Uh, dodge to one side. Can I look at this? Yeah. Look at this floor plan. One side. How could you even see the sides? Let's see. Um, drop to her and hit her. Yeah. She uh dodged to one side. Excuse me. Defendant's chair. Wait. No, no, no. If she dodged to one side, how would you have seen it? <gasps> uh oh. Oh shit! You have to press first. Ah. Right. <sighs> Try to think before you make your decisions, Mr. Wright. Um, I should probably save just so I can have an excuse to reload it. Well, uh, nerve press. How did you know she was defended? Huh? Well, you know, she, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Mm. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. She's right. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks! What? Just like you. It's me, I'm going to bet that you saw nothing. Wait. Well, she saw the body, at least. No. You saw... Uh, mm, uh, I said nothing. Uh, we can reload. Totally. <laughs> um, you saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? Never did something. 
Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yeah, what's this? What is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I mean, okay, if you really have witnessed my client, my FA, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily <clears throat> basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hair looks far from normal to me. Harsh. <laughs> Our witness testimony mentions neither of these things. Testimony is bogus. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the mur- Excuse me, I'm a fucking witness here! <laughs> she was, your honor! I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? This will be perfect to clip on YouTube shorts. I saw shorts. what I saw. This is going to be a gold mine to put on YouTube shorts. I'm going to die of embarrassment. I, I just didn't think all the traveling little details were necessarily necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to plead them at nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn. I almost had her. Witnesses. I can Again, this is just gonna murder me when this shit goes up. Yeah. I did! I see us! I, I did see everything! I did! All of a sudden, Uneven Buddies has three buddies, and it's actually Uneven. Jonathan <laughs> was found dead in a, in a <laughs> dead river. Wait, why Jonathan, not me? Because he, he saw it, and he died of embarrassment. For you. <laughs> well, <laughs> he cringed so hard, he died. <laughs> The victim dodged the, to the, the first attack and ran after the right. And the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. Wasn't the glass stand on the, 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 the lamp on the left, though? And she hit her with that weapon! I saw it! I did! That, that clock! Um, the kind of statue clock? The thinker, I think? Well, does that accurate does, that accurate, does the accuracy of my report on Sally? you? <laughs> it throws me how bullshit your claim is. I wish you'd been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. Alright then. First of all, uh, don't press on this because I know for a fact it's wrong. I did. Uh, see check, check the, the fucking thing. No! Oh, fuck! Why? I said don't! I misclicked! Miss press button. Okay, reload, that's a. Um. It'll go back too far. I'll just... We're good. Um, okay. It's X. If she went and ran to the right, the door's fucking there. Hmm. The don't... Not... 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 No. Ugh. I know exactly what you... And after her, she went on her... That... Press it. This one? N no. That one. Uh... Clock? Didn't this trial up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sound, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I feel I'm on something now. Yeah, yeah, present the, the thinker. Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, I like that one for you. Naughty Mr. Lawyer. I would only like that if it was from Mia Fey. Thank you very much. <laughs> you said that. You just said that this statue. I'll accept the substitute of Maya. <laughs> or I'll accept Maya. If you can't summon Mia, then Maya will do. Don't worry about as it. As long as it's not Pearl. As long as it's not Pearl. It's dear God. <laughs> Isn't she like 11? She's younger than that in the, in the first game she appears. Oh, yeah, definitely not her. I said as long as it's not her because Mia does possess her at one point. Horrifying. And her body does change to look like Mia's. Ugh. That's why I said, as long as it's not her. <laughs> you just said that this statue of the Thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in this. Another person in much the same position as re you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Oh. Miss May. Can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, Lord. Uh... 
The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue of trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course, you will draw your question, Miss Wright. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. And as you may recall, I have caught murderers with these questions before. Well, well only once. <laughs> Objection sustained. You may continue the question to, to question the witness. That was close. If he stopped me there, trial will be over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How do you know it was a flop? What? That's... Because I heard it? All the way from Yes, the I heard it saved the time! All the way from the other side of the road. So, you've been to the law offices of Faye and Co. No! Hey, I didn't say that! Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. <laughs> The losses in Fanco where the murder took place is very close to the hotel. She could easily have heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she, could, she couldn't she, have run. It her. couldn't have run. She couldn't have run. Uh, yeah. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang. It's empty. It's empty. That plot is missing its plot work. How could you possibly? Just take a look. Right now. Oh! See anything interesting, Your Honor? It is as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Ooh. I'd like to point out. On that zoom out, you, if you notice, uh, Miles is on the left and you're on the right. Yeah. You're on the right, I, I'm uh, on the left. Ah, oh, what do you know? <laughs> Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have run. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. <laughs> well, Miss May? I am fat, though. <laughs> I'm scanning. Hmm? Why the show you put on for us, Mr. Wright? He knew the clock was empty. Somehow, he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? I it was after it's... the witness of the clock, and there's no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. Oh, so you're saying you tampered with the evidence? Huh. <laughs> that clock might have been emptied when she heard after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? You yes. can't. Ho ho! Impossible, of course. I have proof. What? what? <laughs> Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is this. Take a look at this. It's my cell phone. Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Ooh, you have a curly phone. W w wait, wait, this ain't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation we had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order! Order! And it's cell phone? This wasn't brought it to my attention! Oh, oh. Brad uh, Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Mm, the good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon! I gotta say, I'm sorry to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. So you Maya. just wanted a whole. Uh, no, uh, yeah, Maya. yeah. Okay. I, I was I was actually going for my voice. Okay. Go so ahead. you want to hear me? Uh, want me to hold on to the thinker for you then, if you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. <laughs> That's lame. I have to take the clock workout. Sorry. Seven. September fifth, nine twenty-seven a.m. Your Honor? That's me. Uh, Your Honor, 
I think this makes it clear the plot was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at our hotel. <laughs> well, Miss Faye, would you care to explain this to court? the court? Just how would you know that weapon was a clock? No. Uh, uh, isn't it obvious? I, I saw that clock before. Um, what so was that again? I got so many. Oops, I forgot! So the witness had seen it before? That would make sense. Do the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes. I know. That's bullshit. The witness has claims he has seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it! Please produce the evidence that will prove the witnesses had not seen the clock before. It was made by Larry Bunce. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. W what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible. Everything is sold at stores! Not romance. <laughs> you can tell how fake this bitch is. <laughs> Miss May, I think it's high t time you went shopping for a better excuse. Mm. Oh, excuse is not on sale today? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Super Saiyan. Uh oh. She is pissed. What the kill you, porcupine head? That super clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> Oh, 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 Did I, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> Scary. Miss May, let me ask you. Tell me, how do you know that weapon is a clock? Mm. Oh, dear. Does the Benz have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of this matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You heard about it. You had heard about it. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known that it was a clock. I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Why that? Have a look at this. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Miss Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. Miss May Mia Faye's phone, were you not? <laughs> Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that is. Objection overruled. Troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous! So the defense truly claimed that the, wi the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which is not, you still have to prove one thing! Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes. Can you prove that? I think not. Oh, oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! WHAT?! Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said, on the phone, that the weapon was a clock is... The phone. I present the defendant's cell phone. Oh, damn. Yes, we're seeing that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What's it this time? It's... a clock. It's made to look like the statue of the thinker, and it tells you it's time. Miss April May. You used the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous! Your Honor, look at this witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? 
The defense demands an answer. <laughs> Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! Uh. It's no fair, all of you ganging up on me like that! Oh, I'm so, I'm the, so I'm the bad girl, is that it? Who said it? That did it. The tort seems real, Miss April May, now. Now deal the final blow. Why the wire tap? Why did you tap the phone? Uh. Answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't Tippity tapping her relative? Yeah, she's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you are tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Yeah, especially on, on the day that she fucking gets ganked. Yeah. Well, this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder? Even though you tapped her phone. Hmm. I'd like to see her pull that off. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You were probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off, weren't you? Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. You can't be serious. No way. Way? I say way? Oh, and I assure you, I am serious, Mr. Lawyer. Hm. Okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why? That's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bellboy. Room service? Room service. Mm -hmm. That's you. Iced coffee, I believe it was. Iced coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, that ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Wait. Mm. Ergo, the witness was not at the scene of the time of the murder. <laughs> that's a, that's probably a good reason to not say you were the murderer. Yeah. So, what does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. Where are tapping However, telephone? that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. For testimony stands, she saw the defendant, yeah, my fake, yeah. commit murder. We're going to take Lily to the park, and then um, we'll come back and we'll get filmed. Okay. No, they're going to, they're going to let her just walk away. There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May into the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy's witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here. And I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. I think he's sunken quite low enough already. I object to calling the bellboy! Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping has nothing to do with the killing! <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to killing this witness. Calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, and thus she is innocent. And thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for my, uh, Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. See, I'm trying to bullshit. What? I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? I mean, you kind of have to. It's the only way to go. Alright. I've got nothing to lose, except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept the condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. Uh oh. Uh, wait, wait. Very well. The court calls to the hotel, Bell Boys to the stand. Say for anything? <laughs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does seem like a bellboy. 
Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir, and I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin to he his testimony. Very good, sir. I just realized Kingdom Hearts is like the fastest we've finished a game from start to finish, because we started in April. No, we started in March, and we finished just today in September. It took six months. It, it went fast because uh, because it's like the one game we've been continuously playing. That is true. Not telling Mario Galaxy 2, that's game I'm short. the head bellboy at the fine, fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call up after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for nice coffee, so to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. That's the time of the murder. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to her guest, Miss May, uh, Miss May herself. Maya. Excuse me, but um, doesn't this imply she's no witness and had n and never even saw the murder? Hmm. I hope. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Miss May. Okay. Let's see. Yes, we know that. Um, after eight in the evening, and if you. Press? The time of death was, uh... No, 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 not listed. Yeah, just press. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in all of her sudden radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... <laughs> the point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? Press. Press. Nine yeah, o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink her out after she was finished, sir. Nine o'clock. The time of the murder. Precisely request the Yeah, yeah. Pr press the... You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, it's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, she uh, the guest, sir, uh, favored me um, an embracer, sir. Embrace? Embracer? Is that French for embrace? It's French for a kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Mm. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prudent demeanor, sir. Mm -hmm. She'll never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing here. There. Is that it? Finally, you understand. This billboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm, it was a bit tedious. Whom this, the witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? I protest. Wait! Please wait. Yes, does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question! Uh... So we can say that. That. Uh, a lot of the stuff. A lot of the stuff we haven't used is gonna show up in the, in the other half. Remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. One last question. Okay, back. Oh, I was just saying. Your Honor, I must object. Oh wait. Your Honor, I must object. The charade of justice has gone long enough. Charade. Charade. I say charade because, I'm going to be honest here, that sounds more... British. Yeah, I was going to say more pretentious. Alright, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay. This is really it now. This is my last chance of saving this Nikkei. Yeah. What do I Check in. Room service. Bed making. Check in? T -t -t Tell me about the check in. Tell me about when you checked in Miss May. 
Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was disappointment, really. I see. Huh? Excuse, Excuse me. me. I paid. Uh, Excuse me, what exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir, but even I'd have a little chance of her lover there. Hmm. What did he say? What did you say? Ah, or uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object! That was objectionable! <laughs> <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you are... You didn't ask! Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, y yes, quite. In indeed. Uh, it was the good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... Ooh? Mmm. <laughs> He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oh! <laughs> you fool! Ooh. I've done it. I've won. Not yet. Won the fight, not the battle. Miss April May turned into a twin room with a man. Correct. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. <laughs> Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple. It was the man with Miss May. The man who checked in with Miss May. Ugh. Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the wire was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi on the time of the murder. However, that is not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my, what a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this port. <laughs> Upstart, some amateur! These accusations are ludicrous! I mean, how is it ludicrous when he outright stated that it was you who told him not to say it? That is true. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I, expe I expect the prosecution and defense to look into the matter fully. Am I understood? Yes. Your Honor. That is all for the uh, today for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Hmm. September seventh, two twenty-four p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number One. Mr. Wright, you are amazing in there. Really? Eh. I think I might be your newest fan. Oh no. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> Then again, that other Tony was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips, it's like shivers up my spine! Hmm, if you say so. So, what happened to me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well, no, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But, I got great lead in today's trial. A lead? That means with that man with Miss May, he's a key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss Ma and May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms don't work everywhere. He's probably at the tent center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, the case is far from closed. Yes, sir! Okay, we're going to have to this man. I think he, he is the one who... Maybe so. Sis? Don't worry. I'll find you by tomorrow, I promise. I'm counting on you! To be... I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that has been stricken from the record. The victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. I don't know how much good this will do me at all. Yeah. Anyway, 
Time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong at the ten center, and it's up to me to set her free. This is why I said we'd be done soon, because episode break would be here. Yeah, we just crossed the one hour mark. Honestly, that this is a good place to just end for the day. Yeah. All right. See you guys next time on Uneven Buddies. Uneven Buddies. God help us. <sighs> help if, my if voice. This, if this blows up in views, I'll be horrified. Yeah. To be fair, though, most Ace Attorney plays playthroughs I see ha tend to have like one-hour episodes all the time. That's true. Other two are forty minutes. Yeah.